name is Al Frank. I'm an assistant professor at the Harris School of Public Policy at the University of Chicago. And broadly, I work on issues at the intersection of economics, environment, and ecology. Throughout my graduate education, I became more and more exposed to, oh, we have all of these papers coming up from ecology and the natural sciences telling us about we're losing species left and right a hundred times, a thousand times faster than what the background level should be. This could have catastrophic impacts for humanity and I thought, well, we should have a better understanding as to what those impacts are going to be, how big, for which species, where they're going to be geographically, geographically concentrated. And I saw that as an opportunity, I can bring my knowledge from economics and all of the knowledge that I've accumulated in the natural sciences and in ecology to try and answer these as to what are the social costs of biodiversity losses and natural inputs decline. In my work, I focus broadly on trying to first understand which species matter for specific outcomes and when they decline, what are the impacts? Then if we think that we want to put together a conservation policy to protect certain species, just how well are they working? And if they're not working that well, why? And further than that, further than that, it's what are the costs, especially the indirect costs of these conservation policies. So for example, a lot of my work right now is studying the impacts of the Endangered Species Act. It is considered to be perhaps the most controversial environmental legislation in the United States. People often say that it will lower property values, it will kill, it will kill jobs, it will uh, slow down economic development. And I don't think that we have a lot of good empirical evidence on that. So that's one body of research, one type of research question. So the University of Chicago in a very quick development became this super house of environmental economics. I think the university now houses a lot of very talented people working on these very big questions regarding the environment and energy markets and climate change and how to think about that from the perspective of economics and societal change. And it drew me to work with a very talented group of people that could uh, also help me develop and push my work to be more meaningful and impactful. 